you, Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Amen. Okay, so um, I want to do something. Today, uh, the name of this uh, sermon is called Unleash the Power of Thanks. Every, <laughs> everybody say, Unleash the Power of Thanks. We are gratitude superheroes. Everybody say gratitude superhero. That's right. Okay, so I want to do something fun. This is you Sunday. I want to kick it off with a little icebreaker, all right? We're going to do a little game right here, okay? So uh, I want someone to come up. I'm going to pick somebody. I'm going to pick somebody. Uh, Kate, come on up here. Come on up here. Huh? <laughs> come on. Oh, and release the two to five-year-olds. Two to five-year-olds are released. Two to five-year-olds. Come on up. Okay, y'all going to come help me. Y'all come help me, okay? <laughs> Shout out to Wisdom and Honor. They're going to come help. They go, hey, Kate, what's up? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do gratitude charades. Everybody say gratitude charades. Gratitude. gratitude charades. Okay, so this is what I want you to do, all right? I want you to write down three things that you have gratitude for, that you're grateful for, that God has given you, things that God has done for you, that you're grateful for, all right? And just write it down so I know, okay? And then I'm going to have you act it out to see if they can guess what it is. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's one. Okay, give another one. Give another one. Y'all help me. Y'all help me. Let's see. That's another one. That's a good one. Okay, now y'all get ready because y'all, she's going to act it out. Oh, and I got one for you because I know we be in class together. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Now, which one you want to act out or do something to see if they can figure it out? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Y'all going to help her? Y'all going to help her? We're going to root her on, okay? All right. So she's going to come down there right there, and she's going to do something, and I want to see if you all guess what it is, okay? If you can guess, just raise your hand and yell it out, if you can guess. Okay. And... Whoa! <laughs> You did that really, really quickly. Come on, man. What would you say? Gymnastics. Okay, what's the answer? Gymnastics. 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 Make some noise for gymnastics. And the Lord has blessed her with that. We love gymnastics. Has blessed her with gymnastics. She's amazing at gymnastics. So everybody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You got one for us? You got one for us? Okay, do it. Do it. Let's see. Let's see. I just saw what you did. I think I can figure it out. We go ahead. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. That's right. Wisdom does ballet. She's in ballet class. We're grateful for the talent that God has given her. Hey, Amen. Okay, y'all. Uh, y'all go down there. Go in there. Yeah, go walk this way. Walk this way. Make some, no make some noise for our youth. Honor, do you want to do one? Okay, you want to do one? This is for our youth. It's youth Sunday. Okay, let's go. Let's try one. Oh, you telling them? I know what you like. Okay. What's that? Oh, what's that? What's that? Dinosaur? Spider-Man. Spider is it Spider-Man? <laughs> it's Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Yay! Okay, okay. You guys go over here. Okay. <laughs> Make some noise for Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And the blessings and the talent that God gives us. I wanted y'all to do that, all right? This is you Sunday. Everybody loves one another. Turn to the right and say, I love you. Turn to the left and say, I love you. Okay, now, when we dive into this, okay, when we dive into gratitude, we have to know that God is our source and God is our power, okay, when we dive into it. And another thing that we have to do is that we have to have our gratitude suits on. Everybody say gratitude suits on. <laughs> That's right, because every superhero wears a suit, right? Every superhero wears a suit. Every superhero puts on a suit, okay? So just like superheroes have their iconic suits, we're putting on our gratitude gear, okay, every day. So put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Let's turn there real quick. Turn to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, right? There's a super suit right there. Look, he got a super suit on. He dancing. <laughs> Where's my super suit? Y'all remember that? Where's my super suit? Okay. <laughs> All 
All right, so <laughs> you got to put on your gratitude gear, okay? So put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So suit up, everybody. Everybody say suit up. Suit up. And you have to represent the Lord daily. Say, I will represent the Lord daily. Okay, so let's turn to Psalms. Uh, chapter 106, verse 1. Psalm chapter 106, verse 1, okay? It says, Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Amen. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Now, I love the choir and I love manna when they're up here. We actually sing that song, all right? So can y'all sing along with me? Anybody here from Manor? Can, can y'all sing with me? Come on, come, come on, Ryan, let's sing. Oh, give thanks, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Keep it going. Yep. Keep it going. He's what? And hey, what else? What? Come on, cuz. What is it? Yes, yes. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, man, make some noise for yourselves. Make some noise. And you know what's beautiful about that, right? He's worthy. All right? Give thanks unto the Lord. We have to sing songs like that. It's important to sing songs like that, to remind ourselves, okay? Because when we fully dive into gratitude, Let's remember that our source is his goodness, okay? The goodness of the Lord and his mercy is an everlasting stream that flows within us, okay? I want you to remember that. And next up, the superpower, our superpower is appreciation. Appreciation. Appreciation for all he does and all he's doing in our life, what he's done and what he's do going to do. That's what we have to be thankful for, okay? So you see the turtles up there. I know y'all know the turtles, Ninja Turtles. You see Spider-Man. Okay, so every superhero is filled with something that makes them extraordinary, all right? Filled with something that makes them extraordinary. For example, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay? How do we know, how did they turn into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Anybody know? Anybody know how they turn into them? Slime. That's right. <laughs> it was, oh, past the radioactive ooze. That's right. It's this radioactive ooze that they fell in and it consumed them and then they could talk and now they were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? And then there's Spider Man, right? Spider Man. He was bit by something. What happened? What was he bit by, y'all? Who knows? A spider. He was bit by a spider, right? And then that spider's radioactive, scientific, whatever was in the spider was now inside of him, okay? The power took them over from the inside out. Now, if we're saying we're gratitude superheroes and we are believers, then we have the Holy Spirit filled in us and that is giving us the power, okay? So everybody say, I have the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, say, I appreciate the power, Lord. Yeah, I want you to imagine something, right? Okay, this gratefulness that we have for God and this gratefulness that is in our hearts, right? Imagine your heart is a reservoir, okay? Now, you know reservoirs, they have the water that comes in and it collects water when it's a bunch of rain, if you didn't know what that was, right? So when there's rain in it, it starts to fill up in the inside of us, right? I want you to think about that in your heart. All right. That the gratefulness that you have for God is filling up your heart. OK, a place where gratitude flows and fills the depths of your being. Each drop is a moment of appreciation to our Lord. Each drop appreciation to our Lord, creating a reservoir of joy within. All right. A joy within. Now, every every superhero has a signal. Batman has a signal that's up in the air, right? You see the Batman signal up there, right? So just like superheroes have their signals, Batman logo shines bright in the dark skies, right, above Gotham City. And we have gratitude signals. We have signals. 
It's called gratitude. Turn to Thessalonians. I want you to turn there. Thessalonians, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, um, 16 through 18. And this is our signal that we get. That's up in the sky. When we're going through something dark and we're going through a situation, this is something that we get. All right. And they shine bright in all circumstances. All right. Here it is. Rejoice even more. Pray without ceasing in everything. Give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. OK, so what have we been talking about? We've been talking about gratitude talking about being gratitude superheroes, that we thank God for everything that we have been going through, going through, and he's been there with us, and we thank him, all right? So rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing in everything. Give thanks. Everyone say give thanks. Give thanks. Okay, so the last three weeks, <laughs> I had a bunch of different circumstances, surprises, unbelievable happenings, that happened to me, okay? So, and the Holy Spirit reminded me within that time to give thanks. I want everybody to say give thanks. Okay, and one of the songs that kept replaying over and over in my head, over again, and I don't know why God had me thinking on this, but now I know, but at the moment of the beginning of these weeks, right, I kept hearing the song Grateful, Gratefulness, okay? And I, wanna know, I know y'all know that song, but I'm going to just sing it a little bit. Y'all give me a sec. I'm going to have my voice. <clears throat> I'm grateful for the things that you have done. Y'all remember that one? Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we've won. Come on. Come on. I can go on and on and on about your words. Because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful to praise you, Lord, flowing from my heart. Come on. Are the issues of my heart? What is it? It's gratefulness. It's gratefulness. Gratefulness. I kept hearing that over and over again. And I realized it was God testing me if I would still give him thanks while I was going through all the things that I was going through. I had a health scare, y'all. I don't know. Maybe y'all might have heard about what went on. But I had a health scare, okay? So I'm literally at the mall. I'm shopping. All of a sudden, I get dizzy, right? I can't feel the right side of my body. Can't feel the right side of my face. Start getting dizzy, I'm running into the clothes. I'm like, hold on now. Maybe I'm just dehydrated. So I said, okay, if I'm just dehydrated, maybe I just go get some food because I've been here before when I was dehydrated. So I said, okay, I'll go upstairs to the food court, go get some food. As I'm getting the food, I can't feel my tongue anymore. And the chewing I was doing, it wasn't helping. And as I'm swallowing, I'm trying to swallow and I can't swallow. I'm like, oh Lord, I'm in this food court. And I don't want to fall out in this food court. I have no idea what's going on. And I wouldn't advise anybody to do this, but I went straight to my car as my body was just going away and I couldn't feel anything. And I drove to the hospital. Now, I wasn't too far from where the hospital is. So I went over there and did that. And by the grace of God, I made it in, right? So now I'm at the emergency room and they're doing all these tests on me, right? All these tests. And I can't move my right arm. They're doing the leg test. Move both sides. It ain't moving. Panic started to set in, right? Started to set in. And as they're doing this, now I've been on planes. I travel all around the world. We just got back from New York and Chicago. And when you see flight attendants run around when there's turbulence, you know what I mean? You, you, you go, oh, what's about to happen? But then you hear the, flight, the, 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 uh, the pilot, you hear him say, hey, we're going to have like 35 minutes of turbulence. So you can rest comfortable, like, oh, it's 35 minutes, I'll be done. But when you're in the hospital and there are nurses and doctors running around and they trying to figure out what's wrong with you, you better call on the Lord, right? So it's in that moment I was thinking, oh, I need to call on the Lord because they try to figure out what's going on. They gave me EKGs, they hooked me up to x-rays, all these different things. I got the IV, all of it is connected to me. Now, I spoke about this publicly to let people know what was going on. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But because y'all my church home, there was another part that happened within this. 
spiritually. As I'm sitting there, my heart rate is up. My blood pressure is up. And they're starting to treat this as if this is a stroke because they don't know, right? So they're treating it in that way. So as I'm sitting there, right, they leave out the room and I'm left alone. And I got all this stuff going on, everything is beeping, and I hear a small voice that's coming. I want y'all to follow this. I hear a voice that's really calm, and it says, you're going to be all right. It's time to go. I'm going to take care of the kids in Asia. You'll be okay. It's okay. You can check on out. Right? And I go, well, hold on. I said, I said hold on. That doesn't sound like you, Lord. I said, that doesn't sound like you at all. What is, what is going on? And I said, not in this moment. For me, that's not, doesn't sound like you. So this is when it's important that you understand the voice of the Lord, right? So what I did was in that moment, I said, Lord, if this is, doesn't feel like you, if this is not you, I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. Is this you in the name of Jesus? And I kid you not, that same voice started to cuss me out. Right in that moment, it started to cuss me out. And I said to myself, ooh, <laughs> okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for letting me recognize. Because if I would have stressed out, had more anxiety, might not be here within that moment, right? So now I'm sitting here and I'm going, ooh, thank the Lord for that. Thank you for letting me understand. And I'm going to stay encouraged while I'm here because I still don't know what is going on. I don't know what's happening yet, but Lord, I know you're going to keep me in this moment. And I know I'm going through it for a reason, right? So I'm thanking him. Grateful, grateful, grateful. That's what I'm thinking in my head, right? But I hadn't talked to my wife yet because my phone's dead, <laughs> right? So I hadn't talked to her. And I'm like, oh, I'm asking the nurses, can y'all charge my phone? Can somebody charge my phone, please, right? So now I'm, they're treating this like this, and they put me in overnight because now they're treating it like a stroke. And I still don't know if I have one yet. And they're looking at their times to see if it'll get worse, right? And they're giving me all the medicine of that. And I'm sitting there and I'm going through it. But I know the Lord is with me. I know the Holy Spirit is with me within that moment. Right. So now all this is going on. And then what happens is, is that now I'm on the news. I'm everywhere because I also being a celebrity, somebody tweets, hey, he's in he's in the hospital. Now I'm all on the news. TMZ, every blog you could possibly think of. Right. And now they're telling me you don't need to stress. You're supposed to be calm. But all I'm thinking is, who is in here talking, saying I'm here, right? Who, who did it? Y'all don't really, y'all want me to be calm, right? Because everybody that's walking in now, now you could have been the person that did it, right? So now that, you know, you, you have negative, you inside of the, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know what's going on. So I'm sitting here like, oh, man. So that's going on. Now, people calling. I can't really talk to everybody. The next day, I'm sitting there, and I'm thanking the Lord that everything's all right, but I'm still waiting for the results to know that there's no bleeding, nothing going on my head. They told me it was no bleeding, but I'm making sure nothing else is going on that's causing the stroke, right? And uh, people started calling me. I'm talking to them on the phone, right? And as I'm talking to them on the phone, we just praising the Lord, thanking God for a good result of the test and thanking God for that. And as I'm sitting there, I look on the news and the sag and after strike is over. As I got IVs and all this connected to me, the strike was over. And everybody's celebrating. I'm like, oh, hey, man, hey, man, strike is over. Okay, that's a beautiful thing, right? And then a few hours later, nurses come up to me, doctor comes up to me, and they said, hey, Mr. Mitchell, we looked at all of your things, all of your x-rays, the EKG, all of it, and you're fine. All right, you did not have a stroke. What was happening was is that I had a prior injury, uh, you know, a few years ago where I had a bulge disc. And the bulge disc was pushing up against a nerve. And because it was pushing up against that nerve, it was mimicking the signs of a stroke. Had my body just give up on me, right? So with me knowing that, I said, oh, man, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Grateful, 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 grateful. Grateful to the Lord and thanking the Lord within that moment. But then what happened was, was that everybody in the public was like, well, we ain't heard from Kale. So then it became, is this the Illuminati? Is Kel a clone? Is Hollywood killing him because he got another movie coming out? Yo, <laughs> I'm pumped up with all this stuff. I'm, I'm tired. I'm trying not to stress. But now everybody's talking about I'm a clone and I'm in the Illuminati. What? 
And I'm just trying to get y'all a, a view of what happens as you're in this world when you're in your you're, you're, uh, subject to public opinion when you're in the public eye, right? And also because I love the Lord as well. So now it was a thing where the devil was starting to get some praise because it was, you know, all these celebrities, they be worshiping Satan and that's what be going on. They worship Satan. You, you ain't heard of care. That's what's going on. So I said, okay, now I got to, you know, address everybody. So I did the whole sit down in my house to address what happened, what I just told y'all, right? So I do that and I address everybody, but let me tell y'all what happened right after that. It was beautiful to see the comments under TMZ with people saying, Heavenly Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you kept him while he was driving and he couldn't feel his right arm. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and helping this brother believing in God. We've seen what you've done, Kel. We know that you speak at the church. We know that you love God. We know that you're a pastor. And all of this was going on. People said, like, I didn't even know he was a pastor. Oh, that was his faith. And as I'm speaking about God within that, it was such a beautiful moment because God got the praise within it. Grateful. Gratefulness. Remember to thank him always. That gratefulness is important. Thank you, Lord. Right? So now... The strike is over, so we can go to the premiere in New York, and I go to the premiere in New York, and there's billboards and all of these things that I'm seeing that I've been praying for, things that I've prayed for right here in these pews, right? And I'm seeing these billboards, the red carpet, everybody, we're coming up, my kids get to come up, and we're praising the Lord, and I'm just thanking God in this moment. It's a celebration, right? And the movie is getting critical acclaim. Everybody's excited. It ain't even out yet. Right. And everybody's excited about the movie. And I'm so excited. And in that moment, when I talked to the crowd before the movie start, I told them we're going to give praise to our Heavenly Father right now. Right now, because this movie would not be possible without him. Keenan and I wouldn't be standing here without him. And I kept hearing that grateful, grateful, grateful. I kept hearing it over and over again. Right. So I'm in New York. I'm doing now we can do the full press run because the strike's over. So we're doing all these press runs, doing all, and I'm just grateful. Sometimes I just start crying. We just bust out crying, me and Keenan, because we love the Lord so much. We're like, man, thank you, God, for this moment, right? So then we go to Chicago for Thanksgiving, and I got to fly back and forth. So I got to go to Chicago, and then I got to go back to New York, and I got to turn around within the same day and go back during Thanksgiving, right? So while we're in Chicago, Asia and I wanted to have date night. You know what I mean? Because we were like, let's have some date night. I got some family here that could take care of the kids. That'll be beautiful, right? Now, what I didn't tell you is that right before this, before I was in the hospital, the kids had been having high fevers. They had the flu. Asia had gotten sick as well, had the flu. And all this was going on. So then I ended up in the hospital. And then I got out of the hospital, praise the Lord. And then we were hoping that the kids wouldn't have their fever anymore so we could go travel to New York, do the press run, all these things. And God made that happen. They weren't sick anymore. So we said, oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we get there, right? And we say, hey, let's have a date night because my sisters are here and they can take care of the kids. Let's, let's do that real quick. So we did that. I'm like, oh, grateful for family. Grateful, right? So I'm grateful for family to take care of us. We're out. Date night is beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful place we're at. All of a sudden, I get a text from my sister. Uh, something happened to honor foot, but he all right. I said, what you mean something happened on the foot, but he all right. There's something happened to his foot, but he all right. Don't worry about it. He just, he just slipped. It's okay. So we go, oh, okay. Well, he's okay. Let's continue date night, right? We get home. We get to the Airbnb, right? Andre's foot is swollen. And I go, okay. All right. So we give him some medicine, you know, get some ice. Things is okay. He's smiling. All right? Go to sleep. Wake up in the morning. It's bigger than what it was, and he's crying. He ain't walking. He's like, I don't want to walk. Now we got to go to the emergency room. <laughs> now we got to go to the emergency room. We're supposed to be chilling. We're supposed to not stress. Go to the emergency room, right? And we get in there. Now I'm back in the hospital. I said, oh, Lord, now I'm running in here with a kid that can't walk. They about to talk about that too, right? And so I get in there, right? And it was instant favor this time around because the woman in the front, she said, hey, I know who you are. I'm going to give you an alias. Don't worry about it. Ain't nobody going to know you here. I'm going to put you in a room with your kids, and I'm going to put you on the side so nobody knows you here. You good. I said, oh, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord, right? So then that happens, but we don't know yet what's really going on with Honor's foot. So we all, you know, stressed out. And the thing about it is, is that what happened was my wife has said, and I want you all to check this out. 
She said on the date night, she said, this has been a very beautiful time. I'm getting to relax. The kids are healthy. Everybody watching the kids, we, we good. And she just said that, and then all of a sudden this happens. So now as a husband, I'm thinking like, oh, man, I want my wife stressed out. Something going on with my son's foot. We find out through the x-rays his foot was broken, right? So now it's like, oh, no, <laughs> okay, oh, no. It was just a simple fall. He's playing with his cousins, felt this way, got a little fracture in the front of his foot. That's literally how it happened. Little kid's bones just went like that, little small fracture, right? Swelled up, right? So we're going, okay, they said it's going to take about three weeks, two weeks for it to heal, okay? Now, in our mind, we're thinking, oh, no. Because of the fact it's like, we got a school, he can't go to school, Kid, toddlers, they run around, that's what they do, right? What are we going to do when he got to run around on all these different things, what are we going to do? And so now, stress started to come back again, you know what I mean? Those things started to come back, but then I, all of a sudden I heard, grateful, grateful, grateful. I heard that, and I said, oh yes, Heavenly Father, I'm grateful within this moment, I'm thankful that nothing else worse happened, and I'm thankful that we know what's going on, and I'm thankful that he's going to be healed, right? And so now Honor has to put a boot on, right? So now he got this boot on. You know, it looked cute, but it was like, oh, man, he, he, he got a boot on, right? He got this boot on, and they said, well, he could walk on it, but he'll tell you when he could walk on it. So we said, okay, he'll tell us when he could walk on it. But now I'm thinking I got to carry him everywhere, and we got to jet set, we got to travel all these different places. Now I got to carry him. And so I'm going, okay. And then we don't want your son to, you know, be going through that. So a day, day after the next day, we get to my uh, mom's house, and we're all just hanging out. And we've been praying, been thankful for the Lord, praying over our kids. And now remember, the doctor said it was going to take about two to three weeks before he decided that he could walk, because he could walk on the boot. And they said it's going to take a little bit, right? All of a sudden, he's at grandmama's house, and we praise the Lord, hanging out. Honor decides. <laughs> He decided, I'm going to walk. And I said, whoa, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Because he wasn't supposed to walk that fast. And I was like, oh, grateful, grateful. I'm grateful to the Lord. Grateful, grateful. In that time, I'm grateful. And as y'all just saw, he just did Spider-Man right here, right? He just did Spider-Man and did a flip right there. He wasn't supposed to do that. That's awesome. And the thing about it, he can do it with the boot, just in case y'all are like, well, wait a minute, he ain't supposed to do that with the boot. He can do it with the boot on, right? So we're just thankful that it's healing and it's healing fast, right? And the thing about it is, is that I want y'all to know in the ups and the downs, stay grateful, stay thankful, say thank you, Lord. Because here's the thing about it is, is that a lot of us, a lot of times, we'll stress out. That anxiety takes us over. We start arguing at each other within the family. Oh, this is going on. I'm stressed out. This is happening. But if you stay with your eyes on the Lord and knowing that the Holy Spirit is your superpower and you thank him through it all, the ups and the downs, he's going to take care of you. He is going to take care of you. Everyone say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of me. Thank you, Lord. Now, what I did was I, I passed out some index cards. Y'all should have got some index cards here, right? And what I want you all to do is on those index cards as I'm continuing to talk, I want you to write down things that you are grateful for or a time that you were grateful that God gave you breakthrough through a hard time. And I want y'all to just write that down. Through a hard time, he gave you breakthrough. Are you just grateful that you woke up this morning? Are you just grateful that you can walk, that you can talk? Or there was something that happened in your life that God showed you a breakthrough in? I want you to write it down, right? Not, not a whole big verse, not a whole long thing, just three things. I just want you to write that down as I continue to talk. Amen. Amen. Grateful. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, it says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep the heart with all diligence, so out of it is the issues of life. Look, y'all, you got to make sure that you are doing the things that God tells you to do, even when it gets hard. Because the thing about it is, is that he's going to push at you. The enemy's going to push at you, hoping that you get so stressed out, hoping that you just go, is the Lord with me in this moment? What is happening? To the point where you go, oh, I don't believe. No, no, you continue to believe no matter what you're going through. Okay? Don't worry about the situation. God's going to handle it. A lot of times people say, I'm going to change when the situation changes. No, you change right now. 
and say, Lord, I thank you for you changing this around. Amen. Amen. Guard your hearts from, from what flows of it is the essence of life. Let gratitude be your superhero. Okay? Gratitude. Now, we've been talking about superheroes and the Holy Spirit giving us power. I want you all to understand that we are team gratitude. Everybody say team gratitude. Team gratitude. Y'all do understand that miracles just don't be just in the Bible and then they don't happen no more. Miracles happen every day. Blessings happen every day. All right? Every day. And we need to let people know about those blessings that happen in our lives, those times when God looked out for us and he's always looking out for you. So other people know that, oh, I can get through this too. I'm going through a trial right now, but I saw that you got through it. Understand that that can happen in your life. All right? So if you wrote that down, right, you wrote that down, and everybody wrote it down, we know that iron sharpens iron, right? And every superhero has a team, right? Every superhero has a team. You got the Avengers, all right? So right now we are Avengers of thanks. The Avengers of thanks, okay? And we are a family of believers that has gratitude for God, and we thank him for all that he's done in our lives, right? So what I want to do, I want you all to... Come up here. Uh, Ron, come on up here. Come on up here. I want you to sing. I want you to sing real quick. And Ben, come on up here. And everybody say Team Gratitude. Team Gratitude. Team Gratitude. There might be somebody here right now dealing with a real hard issue. Real hard issue. And remember, the issues they hold in our heart. But you got to understand that Jesus is in that heart too. He's there. And you got to make sure that he's knocking out all the doubt that's in your heart, all the pain, all the things that the devil's trying to get you to think about, that that's knocked out. And that you love the Lord through it all. Love the Lord through it all. Amen. Amen. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to hold those cards that I gave you, okay? I want you to hold those cards up, okay? And I want you to think about thanking the Lord. Think about thanking him. Yeah. <laughs> think about thanking him. And we're going to sing the thank you song. Sing. We did it earlier. I want you to do that because it's upbeat. And I want you to go ahead and sing that. Yeah. You go and sing that. Yeah. Do you want to do, we want to do thankful for it? Do you want to do that one? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, who knows the song really well? Who knows that song, The Thankfulness? Who wants to sing it? Come on up here and sing with me. Come on up, Mrs. Z. You said you know it. Who wants to sing it? Who wants to sing? We got it. Come on. <laughs> come on up, Michelle. Can you come on up here? Come on up here. Y'all make some noise for Michelle. Hey, hey, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> That's your song? Miss Z. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on up. All right, Michelle's coming up. Now, you know, there's a song that Michelle sings, though, that I really, really love. Yeah, yeah, for you are good. For he is worthy, worthy. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Can you sing that, Michelle, for us? For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Come on. Come on, come on. Y'all sing along. For he is good. Yeah, he is good. Now, this is what I want to do. Worthy. Break it down just a little bit. This is what I want to do. All those messages that are on your cards, our whole entire life is remembering that the Holy Spirit is with us. Remembering that he's with us because we're in this world and there's trouble in this world. But understand that the Holy Spirit will get you out of that trouble. When I was stepping up here, I was just like, that's what it's all about. It's giving you praise. Praise is the breakthrough, Heavenly Father. Praise, that thankfulness, and being reminded that he can get you through it. If he did it before, he'll do it again. So don't give up. If somebody here and you're going through something, don't give up. Don't give up. I know what you're up against. It seems hard. But I'm a man right here to tell you I've been through a lot of stuff in this life where I felt like, oh, no, I don't want to be here no more. But then when I think about it, if I would have did that and I would have checked out, I would have seen all this greatness, all these beautiful things and the blessings. 
of prayer that works. Prayer that works. Faith that works. Your family praying you through. Spirit Fruit Christian Center praying you through. The words from Pastor Ziegler, Mrs. Ziegler praying you through. Your father loves you. You are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. And you need to thank him every day of your life. When you get up, thank him. When you get up, enemies flee because they understand that the Holy Spirit is with you. They know. Because the way you talk and the way you speak. So right now what I want you to do is take that card and I want you to bring it up here and leave it at the altar. I want you to bring it up and say thank you to God when you bring it up. And what we're going to do because I think this is a fun thing that we could do, a fun moment for God and you ought to remember, is that we're going to keep these cards in the office. And so then next year on Thanksgiving, I'm going to give it back to you because I want y'all to remember all the things that God is doing in your life and then also celebrate what he's doing in the future, okay? So I want you to bring those up and I want you to put them right here as we sing, okay? Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Come on up. Come he on up. is worthy. For he is worthy, he is good. Yes, he is worthy. For he is worthy, he is good. For he is worthy, he is good. Yes, he is worthy. sure that you have a chance to do so all right so we want to make sure that you are able to give your life to Christ and if you haven't repeat these words after me okay raise your hand repeat these words say I believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again 
I believe that Jesus was God in the flesh. Jesus, as my Lord and high priest, I invite you into my heart. You are Lord and Savior over everything I do. And today, I am saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.